Hello and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. My alarm goes off at 6 a.m. and the first thing I do is head for the coffee maker. And on the way, I open up the curtains and fold back the bed covers to air out the bed. There's nothing better than walking into a clean kitchen first thing in the morning, and the more I can get done the night before, the less I have to do in the morning. But there's usually a few dishes that I leave out to air dry, and I'll put them away when I pour my coffee, and some days it gets done when I pour my first cup of coffee, <laughs> and other times it just waits till my second cup. Right now. Then everything seems to crumble on days when I have laundry, I transfer the clothes over to the dryer before I even sit down with my coffee. And the most important part of my daily routine always starts the day before. And to save time in the morning, I program the washer the day before so that the clothes are clean by the time I get up. And this cuts my laundry time in half so that I can get more done in less time. You threw, cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. You can't live in a space and not make a mess. <laughs> so instead of trying to keep the house perfect all the time, I just try not to let things pile up to the point where it would take more than a few minutes to put everything back in order. And most of my daily routine is full of tasks that take less than a minute to do and make the biggest impact. And it only takes a minute to put this room back together, but by the time I'm ready to head upstairs for the night, I'm too tired to do anything else. And I like to keep things tidy, but I don't want to live in a museum either. So I I always tidy up first thing in the morning and I fold up the blankets and put away anything that's out of place and straighten up the pillows. I try not to leave a room empty handed, so if I bring something into a room or I find something that doesn't belong there, I take it with me when I leave. And anytime I start a new routine or task, it always feels like a struggle, but the longer I keep at it, the more automatic it becomes, and once it becomes a habit, I do it without thinking. Dishes and laundry are the two things that are the hardest to keep up with and make the biggest difference. So getting the dishwasher unloaded so the dirty dishes have a place to go makes it much easier to keep the sinks and countertops clear. And if I can run the dishwasher at night, I empty it first thing in the morning and it only adds a few minutes to my morning, but it makes cleanup in the kitchen so much easier. And I try to fit as much as I can in the dishwasher before I run it. And if the dishwasher isn't full enough to run at night, then I always try and empty it before the dishes have a chance to pile up on the sink. Boat and we all know where we belong, just wait. 
This time I'm awake enough to take the dogs out and unless I'm running late I walk the dogs up to the park every morning and then I try and get in a workout about three or four times a week. I let the bed air out for about 30 minutes or so before I make it and my husband leaves for work before I even get out of bed in the morning so I'm usually the last one out of bed but even if I'm short on time I always make the bed before I start my day. And the bed takes up 90% of the room so making the bed makes a big impact and once I've invested the time to make the bed <laughs> I'm more likely to keep things tidy. I usually shower and dress after I finish the morning reset and I hang up the clothes I plan to wear again and the towels in the bathroom and I chuck dirty clothes straight into the laundry hamper and my husband does pretty much the same thing and I have an organizer for makeup and hair accessories that I work out of instead of spreading things all over the countertop so even if I'm in a rush things aren't left out on the countertop. And before I leave the bathroom, I grab a disinfectant wipe and clean the countertops and sinks. And all these little habits save time and keep things tidy. If I have more laundry to do, I'll program another load to run the next morning and I'll add the laundry detergent and the clothes and I'll fill the softener dispenser with distilled vinegar because vinegar removes the hard water deposits that can make clothes stiff and dingy and it won't leave a buildup on clothes or inside the washer. And I'll set the delay so that the clothes are clean before 6 a.m. But I try not to run the washer unless I've finished folding all of the clothes in the dryer. That way I don't end up with a mountain of clothes that I need to fold. I fold one load of laundry a day and it's the most time consuming part of my morning reset. So it's usually the last thing I do in the morning and most days I'm able to get the laundry folded and put away first thing but there are days when I don't get to it until the end of the day and I always sort the laundry before I start folding and I usually start by folding the easy stuff first and it helps get me started when I'm not feeling all that motivated to fold laundry. And if I'm running late I fold as much as I can and the more I get done the less I have to do later. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal.
if you're new here, my name is Randy and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation and I post new videos every Friday. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. And I live in Southern California with my husband and our two fur babies, Ace and Callie, and I work at a junior college. So my work schedule varies from day to day. And a few days a week, I need to be out of the house by eight o'clock. And then on Fridays, I'm able to work remotely from home and I have a degree in math, but I don't have the credentials to teach and the college I work for has a program to help students master their basic skills. So I run workshops for math and I'm able to work one-on-one -on -one with college students. And it can be a struggle to keep up with the day-to-day -day cleaning, but my daily routine helps keep the house tidy. It's so much easier to take care of the tasks that only take a minute or two, but I'm much more likely to procrastinate with tasks that take longer to do, so getting started is usually the hard part, but I can convince myself to do something for at least five minutes, and once I get started, it's much easier to follow through. There have been so many times that I've put off doing something because it will only take a minute to do, only to end up with too much to do later. So anytime I know something will only take a minute to do, I take care of it right away. And putting the laundry away is one of those things that only takes a minute or so. So I try to put it away as soon as I finish folding the laundry. I clean the bathrooms once a week and to keep them clean, I wipe down our primary bathroom in the morning and I'm in and out of the bathrooms anyway. So sometime during the day, I'll take 30 seconds and wipe down the countertop and toilet seat in the powder room. To 
to keep paper from piling up, I sort through the mail and any packages that we get as soon as it comes into the house. And bills get filed right away and the junk mail goes straight into the bin and anything with sensitive information goes straight into the shredder. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of energy left and what we have for dinner depends on what I'm in the mood for and how long it takes to cook. And I usually keep it pretty simple. Prepping the ingredients ahead of time is a huge lifesaver. So there's not a lot to do, but I can still cook a fresh meal for dinner. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. The world could fall down gonna be okay the sun could go out we're gonna be okay if all the blue skies ain't too gray we're gonna be okay calm your soul hold my hand To get ready for the next day, I clean and reset the coffee maker around the same time I make dinner, and sometimes I do it before I start dinner, and sometimes I do it after dinner, but the most important part of my day starts at the end of the day, and the coffee maker is programmed at 6 a.m., and my alarm goes off at the same time, which means I can hit the snooze button one time before the coffee is finished brewing. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right You and I, the future is right While I'm waiting for dinner to cook, I try to clean up as much as possible and I put any dirty dishes straight into the dishwasher and I wipe up any spills on the countertops and I'll wash anything in the sink that isn't dishwasher safe so that by the time we sit down to dinner, the only thing left to do is clear off the table. Feathers in my hair and 
Weights around my waist, I'm almost a bird. These mountain views and pink sunsets got me shit and skin. Dinner is the only meal of the day where my husband and I can sit down together and after dinner we clear the table and there are days when he does all the cleanup and there are days when I do all the cleanup but most nights it's a team effort and this particular night he didn't know I was planning to film and he cleared everything away and loaded up the dishwasher so the only thing left for me to do was to give the table and the countertops a final wipe down. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time.